Hey guys, some gamer dude here. When I first picked up Force of Will, I was really enamoured with the Dracula ruler from the first Grimm set. Admittedly, I have a bit of a thing for vampires when it comes to classical European fantasy themes. I can't help it, it's the last lingering edgelord part of my adolescence. While I would eventually get Dracula and the Grimm era vampire deck, it was long past its prime and the Alice cluster was in full swing. Out of all the rulers of the Seven Kings of the Lands, the Princess of Love Valentina was the one that caught my eye. You probably knew this if you have seen my Valentina playmat on this channel before. I just really like the potential of Valentina's ruler side effect. For two blue, you can flash in any two cost or less blue resonator. The unfortunate side of this card is that it's never really been given the support it needed. It didn't really work with the enter abilities of the earlier Grim Cluster cards until enter effects got reintroduced and changed later on. But even then, there isn't some superbly powerful 2 cost blue resonator enter effect made much more powerful with Valentina. To this day, I'm not sure there really is. I mostly just flushed in 1 inch boy, a 2 cost blue resonator with what amounts to death touch. There are a few other cards that can be good like Alice's little scout, flush it in as a chump blocker and draw a card off its death. Neither of these cards tack flash onto enter abilities though. There are a couple that do, like Hera and Were Rabbit of the Aqua Moon, but neither are game changing cards. I think the best card released since then was Undine, who can bounce any resonator whose total cost is equal to or less than your total water magic stones, which just keeps growing each turn. The J rule aside isn't the best either. Valentina, the ruler of paradise, has 500 500 stats, and when she flips, you get a free magic stone, just like Melgis and Faria. Valentina has the following abilities she gains plus 100 plus 100 for each card in your hand, and damage dealt to her during your turn is prevented. In addition to this, she has a god's art for blue blue 2 called Chains of Love, where you take control of any resonator for the duration of the game. None of this is terribly impressive. The card gets weaker and easier to kill the more you use cards, so you need to cantrip a lot to keep her power up. This isn't the full image of Valentina though. She also has a Regalia, Galifnir, the Binding Red Fate. This card has three abilities. When your J-Ruler does direct damage or damages a J-Ruler, draw a card. You can tap it to force a unit to block, but if your ruler is Val, you can use this against rested J rulers and resonators, forcing them to become recovered. Finally, you can pitch an additional copy to draw a card. This doesn't really make her any better though. The effect to draw cards is somewhat helpful in theory, but it's not going to happen enough to make a difference, if at all. Frankly, the Regalia is better with Medusa to target resonators to spin. Valentina's God Art, something I'm not sure I've ever actually used, is the best part of J Rule of Val. I don't remember casting judgement with her much at all. I was more interested in giving things flash. Nevertheless, I still really like Valentina. I think giving things flash is a fun concept and has a lot of potential in Wanderer where she'll just become better over time. I also like using Medusa with Glefnir. It's a little slower turn 4 to be active, but it's effective enough. Just wish the dev team better supported things at the time. But I feel the same about vampires, really. This has been some Gamer Dude, and thanks for watching.